I have created a LAR SLAR tier one priority resource, um, kind of like a menu. I made this for principals uh, and shared it with them um, the last couple of weeks, and they've asked me to maybe to do a voiceover so that everyone would be able to hear what our resources are that we have for our tier one priorities. Well, let's just get started. The vocabulary of the standards. What are the resources I have to be able to do that? The standards are provided for you and Edufaria. We no longer will print them for you, but they are there for you to use. And then your clarifier. The clarifier is where you're going to see what is what is it that actually the standards asking me to do. You will find academic vocabulary on there, and you will find examples of how to teach it. Um, what the student needs to know, all the things that you need to know to be able to understand what it is that your standards actually asking you to teach. The second tier one priority is reading workshop. So what kind of resources do we have to help with that? The unit overviews. Your unit overviews tell you exactly what classroom approaches to use and some suggestions to you to use with that. In there it tells you to use your Norman Jackson resources and we've given you a brand new document that's a PDF that's searchable. Um, I did this in just-in-time learning last time for the last six weeks so you could see it. So this <clears throat> is like your teaching guide. This is where when the unit over you tells you to use a document, <clears throat> this is where you go and you actually read the document and, and look at it because most of the time it's going to say step one, step two, step three. So it's really like your teaching guide. The third resource that we have listed here is Treasures. Treasures is a good um, a, a resource that everyone has. How I want you using Treasures is looking at your standard, looking at what it's asking to teach, what stories and what things does it have in there that will go with the standard instead of going from the first of Treasures to the end of Treasures. It's, um, it's, just, it's a valuable resource. Going to the next column, this is the phonics K through two. Your phonics books, these are your Foundus and Pinnell. These are rich with lessons on how to teach phonics. Um, in the very front part of it, it has where month by month of what as if you're in first grade teacher, what were the things that kids would need to know in that month. But it also um, I try to use it in the overviews to show you how to use it as well. The next thing that's really going to help you in doing a reading workshop is the guided reading book by Jan Richardson. This book really is just such a Bible for helping us understand the whole process. In the first two chapters it talks about reading workshop and about how you set that up in your classroom. It's just giving you suggestions. It shows you how to assess and then what are the things you need and, and even workstations. The now though, Jan has revised this book and it's called The Next Step Forward in Guided Reading. And what she's done is she's just laid out the book a little bit different and added some new features. She has redone some of the templates the uh, for guided reading and then she has a companion that goes with it that's a prompting guide. Uh, so it's a great new resource, but it's really just this one revised. The next piece that is extremely valuable is the Comprehension Toolkit. Um, if you come to any kind of training, we have talked about how valuable the Comprehension Toolkit is. Each six weeks, I'm going to tell you which ones I believe that you should use with your kids. They're a rinse and repeat type thing. There are lesson guides that go with this, and they are located in yearly content. Um, and I call them the Comprehension Toolkit's Guide Lessons. What it does, it goes after that, that big lesson that has the, the uh, resources. And it's for you to use with any resource that you would like to any text that you choose so go look for that and that's very valuable this is going to help us teach that figure 19 so how do you get where your kids where you know getting started into groups we on everyone should have with their treasures is the running record um, and the benchmark books I have put a copy of the benchmark books in your uh, on your campuses it's a binder so it goes along with the running record so if you're at a lower grade then you need those books that it speaks about, you will find those to copy and make. Of course you're going to use star reading or use your early literacy and your reading 360. And once again in guided reading, you're going to use your next step in, in 
guided reading because it will take you in that chapter. It will show you exactly the activities that you do at that back table. It will walk you through that lesson template. So it's just, uh, it's like your Bible. We now have reading A to Z and RAS Plus for you to uh, use in your guided reading. So at your fingertips you have uh, all the books at, a different, at the different levels with the Fountas Panel levels for you to copy and to make sets with that has lesson plans and then you has RAS Plus which actually is one of the great workstations that you're going to have kids do and be able to monitor them and it's going to put them on an individual pathway. Your level libraries in your school is um, what's going to help you to do a guided reading group in a better way. If we have in the last three years we have purchased so many new books and we've bought them in English and in Spanish so if you haven't visited your local library you need to do so because that's where you're going to find some rich uh, rich resources to do guided reading now going on down the continuum and you've heard me talk a lot about the continuum because in the back of this it has a tab that talks about it will go into explicit um, description of what each level what does the level A look like level B look like what what kind of characteristics and what, what type of things do we need to move kids with. There is a new, this is a new revised one, so if, if you go online you might want to get the newest one. And then one of the things we added this summer when we talk about rigorous workstations is except for kinder, we added the tic-tac-toe reading responses. Now this is a completely a held loose one, but this is where we have given you the op some uh, different options to use in your workstations so your tic-tac-toe is a great one. For your writing workshop all of your Norma Jackson resources are right at your fingertips so in the overview when it talks about this is what you should do your Norma Jackson resources should help you with writing workshop um, so that's that's the best resource we have. Now let's talk about the last priority which is close reading. Um, had lots of training on close reading. The Norma Jackson tips for close reading, that new document is in every grade level and it really walks you through how to build a close reading lesson. Your three kinds of thinking anchor routine which is in your Norma Jackson resources. Um, we've had close reading training with lessons. Um, and then there is this resource right here. This is a PDF. This is a list of all, it comes from Common Core and I have been given um, approval to use it but what it does it's got a list of, of exemplars and uh, at your grade level what texts are really good to use for close reading so it's it's a great big document so you want to save it to your desktop so those are are the resources that's not all of them but those are the main resources that you're going to use to really build your tier one priorities on your campus if you have any questions just give me a call thank you